What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you an overview of the space exploration and spaceship combat in Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, which just recently, should be today actually, entered its alpha phase. Alcat Games gave me a little bit of early access to the alpha itself before it went live, which is how I'm bringing this to you on release day. And in addition to this video, I'm also releasing several others today covering a variety of topics such as a general overview of what's in the alpha, how I feel about it, as well as the combat, this video, and one covering all of the companions available in the alpha as well. But first and foremost, I want to start this by saying this is an alpha. Alpha inherently means unfinished. And I want to emphasize that for this video in particular because the space exploration and spaceship combat is probably the most incomplete part of the game currently, at least of the things that have actually been implemented. Obviously the things we don't see at all are probably the literal most incomplete, but of what's in the alpha this is probably the roughest bit of it. So let's start with the space exploration. Now when we leave a hub and re-enter our ship we'll find ourselves on the bridge of that ship and when we click on the big sector map or the world map, we'll be first brought to a view of the system that we are in, which is the star system we're in. This map is very much so unfinished, and even some of the basic functionality isn't there, such as being able to zoom out, for instance. But on the system map, you're going to be able to go around and look at the things in the system, sort of Mass Effect style, to be honest. And this way, you'll be able to interact with the various things in that system. Now, planets typically either give you loot, resources, or potentially an event with whoever happens to live on said planet. In some cases, you'll find a a planet where you can set up an outpost provided you have the materials to do so. Doing this will contribute resources to your rogue trader empire as we are of course managing a trade empire, at least in part as that is our duty to the Imperium as a rogue trader. And as you go through and complete events and stuff you'll eventually have colonies to manage which is relatively minor. But that's not really the focus of this video. Now in addition to things like that we can also find the occasional starship wreckage or just anything we can explore really and these are explorable areas we'll enter into with our party. This is usually indicative of some sort of side quest or event that we can actively participate in outside of just say text. But that is just the system map which as you know makes up an incredibly small portion of the sector, which is known as the Coronas Expanse. So once we're done in any system, if we hit the button up on the top right, we can bring ourselves up to the entire sector map. Travel here works a little bit differently because we'll be relying on our navigators to help us travel through the warp. Now when you first come to the map, there will be nothing here. What you need to do is click the button above your ship, which will allow you to scan the area with your navigators, who will then discover systems as well as warp paths to those systems. Now each system you have not actually visited yet shows up as a question mark, whereas the ones you have entered into are shown as just a regular old sort of planet hologram. Now when we scan an area to find these planets and our warp paths, we also gain Navigator's Insight, which is that small resource on the bottom right of the screen. Currently, this is primarily used to make the warp paths safe, as the dotted lines in between each system represent how safe that path actually is, with red obviously being very dangerous and green being safe. In general, you want to use the Navigator's Insight to make these paths safe and not travel them when I would say they're more than yellow, so like orange or red, as doing so is likely to give you undesirable events that will actively harm you or your crew or throw you into difficult fights. But every single time you arrive at a new system that you have not entered before, you can scan to gain insight and find more paths through the system. Now the reason we have to do this is story related. Supposedly there was some big warp event that rearranged all the known pathways and relearning how to navigate navigate the sector is kind of part of it. But it's important to note in the current iteration we will have particular systems that we need to get to and one issue I did note is that for the main story you do actually have to scan and find those systems. You don't know where they are. In many cases, you don't even really have a general direction. So one of the rough points of this being an alpha that I found was just trying to find some of the systems you need to get to could be a little bit annoying. But each system usually has something of interest, places to set up resource gathering, just resources in general, loot, the occasional side quest, explorable area, types like that. Every system usually has something going on, and it's a really big map. So just looking at it for 
from this way, there's going to be a very sizable amount of areas to explore, which honestly is most of the content in the alpha right now. But in addition to those things, while you're out exploring, you might just run into some enemy ships. So how does that get dealt with? Well, ship combat, of course. Again, this is very early rough draft stuff, but as it works currently, you'll be piloting a single ship with six of your companions functioning as officers, each of them manning a part of the ship during the combat, which allows them to use one of their abilities per turn for you. So in addition to the ship itself, your companions that you have fulfilling these roles will be able to perform specific functions for you to hopefully aid you in combat. But another key thing to know about this is that your ship has to take all of its movement in a turn, and what it can attack and how is very much so in relation to the direction that the ship is facing. So all of these arrows in front of the ship are where your ship can move and the direction your ship will be facing when it moves there, which is going to determine how you can make attacks. Now you can move, attack, and then finish your movement if you want, but you do have to take all of your movement, but not all at once. Now, because of this, lining yourself up appropriately to hit various ships and using your companion's abilities is very important. Each weapon can be fired once per turn. Enemy ships do have things like shields, etc. to get through, and you yourself can focus on shifting your shields in a direction that's actually going to protect you. And managing all this is really just kind of the basics of the system, but enemy ships also have unique abilities. For instance, pirate ships may actually flee if they start to lose or take enough damage. Drakari or the Dark Elves will actually become invulnerable occasionally, especially when they're not attacking you. And Eldari ships can actually block some of your officers from using their abilities which can make combat pretty interesting. Though I will say the main problem I ran into with spaceship combat while playing through the alpha here is that oftentimes you will be heavily outnumbered and you don't have full access to all of the systems yet, meaning that you're supposed to eventually be able to equip items by the looks of it. And I say that because I found items that were like, this is spaceship equipment, but there was no place to like actually equip it to. There was no menu to make that happen. So because of this and kind of having this baseline ship to work with, I was getting far enough into the alpha where I would be fighting like five or six ships and it just wasn't winnable. But again, that's really more of a result of the system being incomplete. So there's definitely a lot more to come for this system in particular, but I do think this does a good job of giving us an idea of what they're planning. Though again, I would expect major revisions to this, if only to make the experience much more smooth because currently it's in a pretty rough spot in the alpha the farther into it you go. But that is kind of what we're looking at for base exploration and combat, which is going to be a not insubstantial amount of the game. And overall, I'm liking it. It's definitely got some big Mass Effect vibes for me, but you know, with actual spaceship combat. So I think there's a lot of potential here for it to be a really cool system once they get it polished up. And this is one aspect of the game I will be following pretty closely, I would say. But beyond that, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at it. Let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Do remember to check out my other videos on the alpha that should be going up right alongside this one. In the meantime, I certainly hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.